this is going to be a really quick video showing off my preferred method of resetting objects that have been dropped into the world using Final IK, which is something that I briefly touched on in my first Final IK video, but did not really go into too much depth into. This is going to go into a little bit more depth to hopefully allow people to use the system to its fullest for everything that they want to do and you know, eliminate some of the problems that people have been sending me for support. Now, first thing I'm going to mention is something that people have noticed uh, when you move the object far enough away, the LimIK will no longer hold the object in place, as you can see here. This is not something that you can do much about. As you can see with this blue line here, this is the actual LimIK. When it is stretched to its absolute, you know, extension point right there, it will no longer have any effect on the object or lock it into place. Now, the kind of fix for this is to just move the second IK object farther away. Um, about 400 or 500 should be fine. I have yet to test anywhere in the thousands because I find that pretty unnecessary for at least any effect that I can think of. But the distance between your objects is going to determine how long this limb is and how much of an area this limb can actually hold this object in place in. Now, speaking of that, the setup for a world dropped final IK object should be as such. You should have three IK roots, not two roots and then your object. You want three actual IK roots and then under the third IK is where your object is. It's because you want to be able to move this object independently of the third IK object. That's key for this reset to work. Now, if you look at my example here, you'll see that I can move the reset example around as much as I want. And then simply reset the position and it's still dropped where it needs to be. That's because it's not the third IK object. The third IK object is still exactly where it was before, but the child of that object is locked in world space underneath it. The only thing that's holding this is the parent, which never moves, making it a perfect world object. Now, in order to facilitate this reset, we're going to need two things. We're going to need rigid bodies and the topmost object and the object itself, and a fixed joint just on the bottom one. So on the parent object, you're going to want to set up your rigid body like this. Is kinematic is going to prevent the physics of this joint from doing anything to final IK, and constraints are going to cease any movement in any of those directions, just like if you were to put a rigid body on a limb, like a wrist or your head for particles. If you were using particles uh, in the world space and you were using um, joints to stick them places. This is how you'd have the rigid body on the limb itself. The rigid body on the object itself, on the other hand, needs to have everything unchecked except for is kinematic. Is kinematic must be checked for this object to remain in the world. Uh, and that's going to, once again, stop the rigid body from actually doing anything physics wise to this object and allow final IK to completely do its job as it needs to. On the actual object itself, you're going to also want a fixed joint. In the connected body, you're going to put your parent object, so the object that has the rigid body on it and the limik script and whatever else, you're going to put that into the connected body so that it is connected to its parent, as you can see there. And then for the actual reset itself, all you're going to do is go to the object that you need to move, turn off kinematic, and turn it back on. Now the object is reset, and you're free to move the topmost object as much as you want without any effect on the child. This does respect rotation, so if I rotate this box to face point it up and then reset, it's going to face and rotate properly. And then if I say reset the rotation and then apply my reset, 
the rotation takes. This is as far as I have been able to create the simplest method of resetting an object that you've dropped into the world with Final IK and the most consistent. Now one more thing I'm going to go over is something else that people have been noticing, particle systems. Well, you can already see the particle system appears to be attached to the third IK object. And in a usage scenario, this would be moving around with your parent instead of what you want to drop, and that's not OK. Now, the fix for that is really simple. All you got to do is wherever your lim IK script is on, just turn off fixed transforms. And you can see now the particles are staying where they need to be. The trails are staying where they need to be. Everything's working out fine. The top object can be moved as much as it wants. And the bottom object can be reset with the particle system moving with it. And everything is working as intended. So there you go. The assets for this video, as simple as they are, will still be in the description. Um, Feel free to take a look at them and look at the setup and uh, build your own setup around this. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up on Discord. It's linked in the description, and I can't wait to see what people make with this.